So here recently I was looking at purchasing a 2017 Acura NSX. Uh, a listing popped up on Facebook and the reason why I was looking at this particular NSX is because it has 91,000 miles on it. That's either the highest mileage NSX or close to it for a new one. So I started to do my due diligence. I went ahead and jumped online and I was trying to research about you know what you should look for when you're trying to essentially buy this car but with high mileage so what I did is I went on the NSX prime page and there's kind of like a a, a a page somebody started a, a topic about the maintenance like what have you done on your new NSX how much did it cost and at what mileage and I just kept on reading it reading it, reading it and then I came up on a fun and scary topic somebody was like well, you don't have to worry about the valve adjustments anytime soon because they need to be done at 75,000 miles. And I was like, whoa, 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 what is that? So then I kept on reading and I found out that this valve adjustment requires the engine to be taken out. Now, there was some debate on the uh, on Prime about if you need to take the engine out. Uh, people have talked about that they could probably do it without taking it out. But I'm going to go ahead and address that uh, topic here in a second as well. So I decided, you know what, sometimes we guys, including me on YouTube and everything, we kind of don't know, we're just speculating. So I decided to go ahead and call one of the most reputable, biggest uh, Acura dealerships uh, here in Colorado. So I gave him a call and I said, hey, this is the situation. I'm looking at a high mileage NSX and about 91,000 miles. And I, you know, I want to know two things. Uh, I read about this valve adjustment service and I also uh, wanted to know if the battery needs to be replaced or there, if there's like a service interval for it if there's anything you need to do if there's like a shelf life or a service life for it and the guy was really cool because here's the thing a lot of people don't know is that there's only specific people who are allowed to work on the NSX and they have gone through the training they have gone through the specialized specific training for the NSX so there's specialized technicians for these vehicles and there's not a lot of them so essentially I got a hold of one and he was like whoa whoa I haven't even heard about a new NSX hitting 75,000 miles and I was like yeah this is the situation and he was like well let me do some research on it and I'll get back to you well a couple days later he called me back and he says I'm putting it all together and I went ahead and brought in the parts department because as you know, if you don't know in dealerships, the service department and the parts department, they work together, but they're different departments. So he had to uh, get the help of the parts department to get together all the parts you need to replace because when you remove the engine out, and this is the part that I wanted to clear up, you do have to remove the engine out. If an Acura dealership does do it, they're going to remove the engine out. So let's go go ahead and debunk the theory that you don't have to he says since you have to remove the engine out you have to replace a lot of things and uh yeah we have a big old laundry list of parts so then he finally called me back and he says david for labor loan we're already at twelve thousand dollars and for parts we're hitting a, around eight thousand dollars and as far as the NSX hybrid battery, because there's two batteries, the 12 volt battery and the hybrid battery, the NSX technician said that there's not an interval or a certain time need to address the battery. Uh, you just only need to look at it or repair it if something's going wrong. And that's the information you got from the manufacturer. Well, I'm curious to hear what you guys are going to think. Man, let me tell you something really quickly. I was looking at an R8 at one point in time and to do the clutch, it's an engine out. There's a lot of vehicles out there that require an engine out service. And to be honest with you, I am not a fan, but I think that's just the territory of mid-engine cars in general. Anyways, craziness. All right, guys, you stay tuned, subscribe for more awesome information. You never know what you'll learn in driver's therapy, and we'll talk to you soon.